So we have um, English and Spanish spoken in the same classroom when we have them teaching. That's happening in a lot of schools in um, Miami and California. I mean, yeah, that's cool. If you want to speak Spanish or any kind of language, you should, you know, and if that's your population, you should go learn right. that. But to teach that in school, you're going to be teaching 30 different languages in school to be fair to everybody. So you open up the can of worms to say just Spanish. Yeah, I think it's some level of understanding when people come to different countries that they have a certain level of understanding of that language before they are allowed to be there. I don't think you should be here and not understand any of it. If you go to any other country in the world that speaks a different language other than English, and you move there to live, they will expect you to adopt mm -hmm. their language. Yeah. Why it doesn't have to be the same here? Because the national language of America no. is English. No, it's not. Okay, okay. Don't have a okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say this as an immigrant. You guys are here, and I'm seeing everything from your point of view. Why don't you take the time, listen to the other person, and see the things from the other person's point of view? Nobody wants to be here and be discriminated. Oh, because you don't want to. You don't know the circumstances, you don't know how they live, how many hours they work, uh, or if they have the opportunity to be literally and they know how to read and write so they can go to learn a second language or they can afford to pay to learn the second language. So don't give me stuff if you don't know the facts, okay? If you're a healthcare professional, your job is to provide the highest quality of health care. Thank you. And if you have a good percentage of your population that you see that speaks Spanish or Portuguese or whatever it may be, it's your job to learn what you can about that, that language so you can communicate, so you can provide quality health care. The health care is their job, but it's also the patient's job to be able to communicate with the health care provider. We do our best. They come in there and then they get frustrated with us because we don't understand their language. We can do what this young lady said. We can try to see what we can do to get the most appropriate care to our patients. And that's what we have some control over. And the debate will go on and on and on because, just as she said, how much people should change, how much people should be assimilated, we can't have any control over. But the debate needs to be there. If you don't have classes like this, you never hear these debates.